In this video, we'll look at a few ways to generate random values with the randBetween function. The randBetween function is a simple function you can use to generate random numbers. For example, I can enter randBetween with a bottom value of 1 and a top value of 100. When I press Enter, I get a random value between those two values. So I can just drag the fill handle down to get 10 random numbers between 1 and 100. You can extend rand between to do all kinds of clever things. To get random prices between 10 and $50, I can again use rand between and then just format the result as currency. To get more natural prices, I can modify the formula to subtract 5 cents. I'm using the shortcut Control plus Enter here to enter all formulas at once. You can also use RAND between to generate random dates. For example, I can use the date function inside RAND between to generate random dates between January 1st and June 30th. I could also put these dates on the worksheet and then point to those cells inside RAND between. I need to make these references absolute with F4 to prevent changes. This makes it easier to change the dates being used by RAND between. I can even combine this approach with the workday function to generate random working days. Finally, you might wonder how you can generate random text values. A simple way to do this is to combine rand between with the choose function. Let's say I want to assign this list of 1,000 people to four random groups, fox, bear, otter, and moose. I can start off using choose with a hard-coded index of 1, followed by the group options. When I press Enter, I get Fox, since Fox is the first item in the list. And if I change index to 2, I get Bear. Now I can simply replace the hard-coded index with a number generated by RAND between. Since we have four groups, the lower value is 1, and the upper value is 4. When I double-click the fill handle to copy the formula down, all groups are assigned. Remember that RAND between is a volatile function. It'll recalculate whenever you change the worksheet. Once you have random values assigned, you'll probably want to stop this recalculation. The easiest way to do that is to use paste special to overwrite the formulas with values.